Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about Bitcoin's uh, drop and some good news that actually is in the pipeline. So Bitcoin, there's two reasons why Bitcoin dropped. The main one I do think is because of the pub, uh, publicized Donald Trump statement. He's not president anymore, but unfortunately he still has a lot of influence. And stuff he says obviously affects the crypto market. He called Bitcoin a scam against the U.S. dollar. Yeah, I don't actually think it's a scam against the U.S. dollar. I don't think it's perpetrated by Russia, China, or any of those. Pretty sure it was like Hal Finney and some guys in San Francisco. And it wasn't like a scam against the U.S. dollar. Remember, in 2008, 2009, uh, we had this like big crash thing. And most people found out that the banks were just kind of like scamming us because essentially like – what happened with that bailout is we ended up paying them to we ended up paying to bail them out with our tax dollars and they don't really give us diddly squat after they have profits so people were like yeah you know the socialism for corporations and capitalism for everyone else i don't like it so uh you know bitcoin was actually started that was bitcoin was actually born out of the uh 09 crash that's when it actually started of course like it does threaten, like, you know, centralized power in the dollar. Uh, I don't know if it really threatens the U.S. government or anything, but obviously for someone like Donald Trump, he's, like, old school, so he doesn't like Bitcoin. He likes cash. He likes property and all that other stuff. You know, like, Trump, I think most of Trump's wealth is actually in, his, uh, in, in property. Um, he doesn't, he's not actually a liquidity guy, and he ha holds very little, like, actual cash on hand, less than most people with his amount of wealth. So... The thing is, like, he's obviously, like, a strong believer in the dollar. Being a former president, he actually should be. And his statement, for some reason, made crypto prices drop. I think whales kind of, like, manipulate and uh, take advantage based on those statements. Same thing with Elon Musk's tweets. So, and the other reason is um, the ransomware stuff. There's a couple of senators asking for a complete ban of crypto because of ransomware. That's actually not going to happen. We discussed it uh, earlier today. To, today in the stream so uh it's basically a lot of worrying about nothing um the bottom line for crypto is around thirty thousand. uh i think it never really dipped around dipped past thirty one thousand. um this cycle so i'm looking at thirty one thousand as like kind of a barrier right now we're hanging at around 32.7 if it doesn't dip below thirty one thousand, we've definitely established a bottom because this will be the third time it tried to dip past 31 and it never really did so it bounced every time it actually got past thirty one thousand, at least to my knowledge now, the ray of hope in all of this, and that what could actually change it, is El Salvador's president. He is not the former president of El Salvador. He's still actually president. And he is actually going to make Bitcoin, trying to make Bitcoin legal tender in El Salvador. Now, why is this important? There's an immediate effect. Since El Salvador president announcement to make Bitcoin legal tender, a flood of BTC has been moving off exchanges at the highest rate since November. Now, November is like when we had that giant move up from the end of last year to the to like the first half of this year or the first quarter of this year when we really moved, when we really, really pumped. So that could signal another pump because BTC has been moving off the exchanges at a very, very fast rate. Generally, when people move BTC onto the exchanges, it's basically to sell and drop the price. If they move it off the exchanges, they're going to hold. So it really looks like they are actually going to hold um, now. And the thing is, like, Bitcoin, despite the dump, has actually been moving off the exchanges. So I think, like, people are ready to accumulate again, and Bitcoin price is probably going to reverse and go up again. I think 30000 was the bottom. I do not think we are actually crashing to 20000 Because um, the, last couple of, uh, the last couple of reports, Bitcoin has been moving off the exchanges, not onto the exchanges. Like, once we started getting towards the top of 60000 there were a lot of Bitcoin moving onto the exchanges. Now it's moving off the exchanges. So like while we're still dumping to around 32.7, 32.6 right now, uh, I think we're coiling up and getting ready to go into a more bullish scenario over the next couple of months because people are actually seeing that there are some countries uh, wanting to make it legal tender. Paraguay as well, obviously, um, wants to do some Bitcoin PayPal project. So people are taking cues from that and they're moving and the big guys are moving uh stuff off the exchanges and the thing is they know that bitcoin's not going to be banned in the united states just because like a few senators want it to or because donald trump said it's a scam because you know he's not president anymore so he can't really do anything about that so that's kind of where we are right now it's uh we dumped because of basically donald trump said it was a scam and because a couple of senators wanted to actually ban it neither of those really matter and the ray of hope is el salvador and directly a bunch of bitcoin moving off the exchanges so that is news for now, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.